well, almost 40. What was it? 39? 38? I, I, I'm not doing 19.7 times 2.2. Oh, 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 it was kilograms. Oh, I see. Well, we can just, we can, what is going on? Okay, all we need to do is, there we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I see. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, nice. 48. And we're oh oh you did bring your book. I didn't bring it. But... Oh, I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't see it there. So you didn't need a reminder. Okay, good. I, good. I just want it to be a habit to grab the yeah, grab the folder. I'm pretty sure I got 45 of the thing. Bring that bring that whole thing up here. I have new things for us. I have this which is delightful and I have this. In fact, Let's do this now because it all it all goes it all goes together. Oh, oh is that gonna fall? Yeah, it's a little unsturdy. Okay. I kinda pulled it when I was trying to get out the showcase. Oh. Yeah, the boards aren't as far back this I time. What base it is. It's a state test thing, so I don't really need to know. Just, okay, well, plus seven. Plus, mm -hmm. plus seven from last time. Okay. Yeah, plus seven from last time. So five, what was that? Oh, okay, five, 13. 13 plus seven. Uh, uh, 25. 25? No, not <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. All right, what plus three equals 10? Algebra. Oh, 20. 20? It, it's 20. Oh, it, okay, the 20th, yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. 20 plus 3 equals 20. That's All right. right. <laughs> 10, totally. Yes. You should believe me. We just did some algebra there. What plus something equals what? Division. Well, at the end of the day, it's all the same thing, no matter from whichever angle we're looking at it. I, I got the division in my brain, so I thought this meant remainder. No, that you're, you're, your brain is on silly mode, apparently, right now. You're all right, 48, and the left was? 60. Oh, you haven't done it yet. Okay, let's back this up. Do, 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 do. Wow, backlit. Well, I got a new record on my left, too. Good. 41. You must be getting stronger. Look yeah. at that. What a concept. Good. <laughs> okay, check it out. What I want you to do with this thing is this. And this is really, really, really tight in there. I just want you to spin this thing like this with a, I would have you do this with your arm alone, but I want there to be a weight. And you can stick your hand through there and then, then grab this way so it's more secure. Go through and now reach. Okay, now, yes, just, good. So what, what we're going for, is a totally dead. I hurt my arm. Okay, good, good. I'm good. Well, <laughs> I'm not glad you hurt your arm, but I am glad. That, well, that's evidence that it's working. So this, as opposed to this, like a totally dead floppy arm. I heard my arm like. Did, hopping. Did you got well. You, you must have had your your elbow like pulled out of its socket mm -hmm. a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Good. Totally. Okay. Flip flip hands. You you. you, you <laughs> I'm breaking Don't make myself. me take. Don't make us take you out of the game. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Well, bad 
<laughs> bad position. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Apparently that's the wife's tale to make pain go away is to rub it. I don't know why that is, but maybe it's placebo. Mm-hmm. Okay, so while you're, you're suffering in pain, I'll just say that what I want from you is now, okay, minus, minus, minus the weight, minus the weight. Now I'll just do it without the weight. Now I'll just like totally have a, have a, like a Jim Carrey arm that's totally loose and, and windmilly. Okay, Try that. Get up, soldier. One arm, at, one, one arm at a time. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, the other arm. Now spin the other way. Good, good, good. You're, you're totally letting that weight. You're not trying to muscle it out. That's my point. Wow, that must be your left arm. Yes, okay. <laughs> well. Okay. All right. Then this is this is a good this is a good uh, thing to practice. Getting your left arm to just be totally, totally just uh, 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 loose. Totally loose. All the way, and, and get a get a wide stance. You're, you gotta get your feet under you to be able to do anything above it. All right, I'll work on that one. To, oh, okay, hold, hold this, hold that, I don't know if and, I and do that. well, get, get, get a better stance. Get a good stance, and make sure you're not gonna hit. Like, work out your spatial awareness, and just do a, start, start slow, start slow, and have it be a forward spin. Did you hit yourself again? Yeah. Did you bash your knee? Like right here. <laughs> yeah, that's. Again. <laughs> yeah, again. Okay, what's the uh, what's the de definition of stupidity? <laughs> Insanity. Insanity. There we go. Uh, or, or or you know the definition of not doing things the way you want is not learning from your mistakes. Okay. Get rid of that thing. I want you to do this. This is what we're leading to. Forward spins and have them be alternating. Okay, but not to have curved arms as you do it. To just have this be a totally straight, flingy thing. Like, there's no bend in my elbow at all. <laughs> yeah, okay. You, my own mom and dad, in the kitchen tonight. I <laughs> want you guys to all do that and practice that. Okay, let's go talk about why I want you to do that. Because, 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 because it, uh, because if a kid can't do that, and you, you did it, you, did, you basically did it, pretty much. I mean, it's not, it's like 90% there. Okay, you tell me. What's the purpose of that in drumming world? To like, arm, uh, using your arm to hit it. Arm strength, or... Um, I just thought of this last night, this twirly arm thing. So I don't really have language for it either, to be fair. Because, because what we want to be able to do is to let go. To let go of this. To let go of our hand. To let go of our forearm. To let go of stuff to be able to have things, okay, I can hold a rock so my muscles are, muscles are flexed here, but then to do that spinny thing and have it truly be a windmill, a windmilled, a windmilled like straight, straight thing like this, then I have to have like an awareness of this, these muscles are flexed, but these muscles aren't. So we're, we're developing things to teach your brain how to turn on muscles 
and turn others off, which is definitely necessary for this game. Like, you don't need your lip muscles to be moving while you're doing that, mm -hmm. but you know they're moving anyway. So it it's good that it's good for us to be able to be aware of all parts of our body, including our including our twitchy lips while we're playing, just so we have full body awareness. And the the windmill stuff is that trick is simply well. I was doing this the other night, one, two, like I was doing this, which is what? Alternating strokes, right, left, right, left, right, those are single strokes in the drumming world. And so basically we have, we have macro movements and micro movements. You know, micro movements would be writing with a pen or tiny little things. This is kind of in between because we have all these micro movements here, but then we have macro movements here. And so doing things like that, doing things like bat dribbling the ball, that all equals better motor skills. And motor skills is the name of the game here. And anyone who doesn't have any motor skills, we're not, we're, I'm not even going to bother showing them how to hold a stick yet or do any drumming or teach them how to quarter note at all. First, we got to get the body working, like that little girl up in front at the event, that six-year-old who just like no concept at all of like her body and like doing things with her limbs, just blank slate. So for someone like that, I got to wait a couple of years for that little person to start to develop the, the macro movements before we can get into the micro movements of stuff like this. Because you got to have the macro without the micro. What is macro? Uh, the bigger. Yeah, the bigger, the wider scope on things. Ta-da! They are invented. And they're easy to put on. They're, they're not... Okay. Um, yeah, you'll see. Y yep, be? yep, yep. All is intentional. Okay. Put that one on. My pointer finger is supposed to be smushed. Or can only go like. Oh, oh, and there must be glue inside of it. Here, get, get rid of that thing. Let me uh, let me ram a drumstick up there. That little super glue must have gotten gotten in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Yes. It's like I have an extended fingernail, or like one of those prosthetic fingernail things. Like Edward Scissorhands? Huh? You seen that movie yet? Yeah. No. He would have gotten it if he had. Edward Scissorhands is a movie about a guy who has scissors for hands. That must be hard to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Except he's really good at, 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 at hedging bushes, apparently. Yeah. Right. So what's up with the what's up with that extended <laughs> nail? Uh, so what does it go on 
You, you, sh you show me how it works. That, yep, yep. Okay, grab the stick properly first. Get that stick in there. Thumb on stick. And now these things, these two, yeah, those two get books. fused. This, oh, okay. This needs to be a little bit further down. But for now, we'll just, and then this is to keep your finger from going up. Oh, look at that. Look at that perfect, perfect hand. Not really. Is your pinky wanting yeah, to stay there? Works. Okay, maybe I can do an extension yeah. like it. Middle. Hmm? Middle oh. of the bar. Okay. Hit. Hit the middle of the bar. Now hit over here. Now hit the middle. Which sounds better? The middle. The middle. Hit the middle. Plus it's a target for consistency. Do it. Okay, get you get your thumb on the. Is your thumb yeah, wanting to slide off? No. Yeah. It's kind of annoying because I want my pinky to come free because. Because you have a bad habit. Yes. <laughs> and it's kind of hard to turn. Because of this part. Okay. All right. Noted. I'll go back to the drawing board. Okay. So that. Okay. The thumb needs an attachment to get pulled this way. The pinky needs to be longer. Maybe like a, maybe like one of these on the pinky to wrap. So it has a full reach and, and like more this and, thing off. and more Velcro and then half of this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Other than that, it's pretty good. It's good. Yeah. Oh, and this thing's coming off. Oh, yeah, and I just used the sticky of the stuff. I need to put, oh, yeah. I, I was hoping I wouldn't have to use <laughs> oh, you do. super glue, but uh, yeah, I should have just assumed that wasn't going to work, especially that it's connected to cloth, which mm -hmm. is not. A great surface for things to stick to. All right. All right, back to the drawing board on those. And we will What are these for? Strapping people in? Yeah. So that was my that that was my first iteration on how to get people to let's try it. So hold Hit the hit up there, and then what we can do is give you a length, and then this. All right, do it. Do it a few more times. Okay, right about there. And now the other hand. See this Velcro, Velcro. This that is my resident screwdriver for this setup. So I don't have to ever go looking for a screwdriver. All right, put your hands in there. I'm curious. I'm curious. Let's see what that what that does for you. It definitely keeps the hand separated. It keeps the arm from lifting. All right, and and we'll scoot you closer. Do both.
Oh, and see if you can get the, 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 the backs of the six to go through the loop, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it works. All right, I'm gonna give you more space. Hit that one, hit, hit further up. And then we'll get rid of this one completely. Yeah, look at that. It works. Yeah, should be improved. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> that's, that's, that's iteration number one. That, this was one of the very first things I made. And I have an idea for, for this is 1.0, I have, I have 2.0 in my head. Just doing these. There's fresh sawdust on those. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that stick. Do that last bar, do that last bar again, get it straight. There it is, again. Do the exercise. Give you a uh, oh god, let's give you an accent. Oh, fine, I can do up, 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 up. How, fat, how high does this thing go? I think it was 250. Oh, whoa, two, 250. Nice. So we'll turn that down. Oh, here's it. Here it is.
do, do one hand. Just, just no accents, just all, yeah. Keep doing that, we're gonna get some coins. Coins, 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 who has coins anymore? Those aren't obsolete yet. Some coins. Do you know where your coins are? Yeah, they did the two in my dad's bag. So. Oh. <laughs> Spittoon. That's hilarious. Okay. Nickels. Quarters. Ooh. The dimes. The dreaded dimes. Okay. Two of each. Good. I like it. What am I gonna do with these? I'm gonna put them in between my thumb and my. Why? Why this trick? Hmm? Why have your thumb next to your finger? Because on the stick. Uh, okay. My thumb is on the stick, but now my finger is separated from it. My thumb is still on the stick. So the, the, the index finger is on the stick. Too. I'll explain it again. Watch this. So it to you and the camera. So if I have my, if there's a space there, then look at my index finger. L look, look how much finger is wrapped around the 360 of the stick. Look at that. Now, this huge unwieldy stick, now I have 360 control because my finger almost touches my thumb there. But if I'm open like that, now I only have top and bottom control, or rather, you know, side control. I need top and bottom control as well. So by closing out that space, I'm not closing out the space, I'm wrapping my index finger around the stick. That's what I'm doing. I'm not getting rid of the space, I'm wrapping my finger around the stick. As a result, it closes off that space. Put these coins at the ground. The lava turns, the, the ground turns to lava and we all die. Don't commit homicide and suicide. Um. Now, make sure your thumb isn't doing the opposite where it's going this way. Get your thumb like thoroughly on the stick. Bring this back. Oh. Slow it down and we'll count it out. One E and a two E and a three E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three. Go from the first bar to the second bar. First bar, and then. Okay. Now do it with a mat. Get this down. Just do this over and over. Just do a few of those with your left. 
without the accent. Deep breath, relax face. All big. Let me scoot you back a little bit. All right, have both do this. Sit straight on and have both there and have the other one be ready to play. Okay. Are you choked up or choked back? Or what do you need to do? Choke up or choke back? Back. back. Now you're way forward. Fact. Take these. We have a little. I made these sticks especially for the for the event on Friday. And put your thumb in front of that rubber band. Yeah. Both in the middle. Okay, double stops. Deep breath. Arms killing me. Okay. Smaller. We won't go. We won't go slower, but we'll go smaller. Just do this. Okay, get rid of these coins, but don't open up that space. A little slower. Let's go to good old two hundred. I need a table right here. Try to get those to be as close to close together as possible. No flams. Oh, I have a table. It's right here. All right, let's see how we do it. Check it out. You'll know, check this out. Those, most of those were not truly together. When they are together, you'll feel a little pop. Cancel out the vibration. Ah, oh, good catch. Okay, let's do this. Let's get rid of that accent. Go to a different sound. Okay, this sound, and we'll turn it down slightly. Make this disappear. With one hand, Okay, now, all right, get it out of you. Get the, get the, get the, the, get the testosterone burst out of you. All right, now.
both hands. Both hands, here, okay, do this. Have this hand here. And then just do that with this. But keep that other hand, yes. And see how uh, this is weird? Like, get, get lined up with this thing. Like, have both of your hands be the same distance away from the, from your instrument. What would be those two things? Putting this in the right spot and lining up with the metronome. Alright, forget about hitting the right spot of the bar. Line up with the metronome. When you get off, when you get like off, obviously, just just stop and then re-engage. Now have the other. Do this. Have both hands there, and give me, give me, give me small notes. All right. Let's do. Let's do a. Let's do a light eight on a hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Still doing your weird thing. I'm gonna put an end to that right now. Whoop. Okay. Now the stick is is in your let. Show sh show me your hand. Just just hold up your hand. Okay. Yeah, your pinkies aren't too short. I I, I your pinkies look normal. Mine are mine are short. Mine are particularly yeah. short. Mine only go up to the middle of that center digit on my ring. Only oh, go up to the center digit. Yeah, yours goes up to the first knuckle on your ring. Yeah, get that. Uh, do do just do just pinkies at the fulcrum so it doesn't hurt. Pinkies. And just do small ones. And have it just have it. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. You're, you're encumbered. I'm gonna build a whole full-on straitjacket for my next invention. I'm gonna have a chair. You're just gonna be like locked in. It's gonna be great. <laughs> oh. Okay. Forget forget the pinky. Uh, just do pinky and ring these two digits. this let's 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 do this let's do, let's let's learn how to do eight on a hand properly meaning the other stick is chilling ready to go when the other hand is playing so look at my left look at my left look at my right hand So when that's going, have this one just boom, still ready to go. Let's do 16 on a hand. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do it regular. Do it regular. Seven, eight, one, two, three. So 16. But the reason why we're giving 16 is to give you time to like think about the other hand. Keep that there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. To do the up. Okay, we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Watch this. In order to do that, watch this. That last one has to be a choked off stroke. One, bounce, 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 choke. Yes. Yes. Do it with your left. Uh-huh, all right. Eight on a hand with the last one choked. <laughs> Watch this. We, we got some motor skills working for us now. Watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, choke. Choking and lifting prepping the other stick at the same time. So we have this. All right, do this. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, now let's roll that back. Now do one hit and then one choke. One, two. Okay, have the other one down. One, okay, bounce, stop. This one's gonna be ready. <laughs> yeah, I know. Brain! So where this is going, watch, watch, where, watch where that comes into play when I play eight on hand. Choke. Choke. So you got to choke the last one. And why are we, and why are we stopping that stroke? Why are we checking that? Ready? So that it's in place, yeah, ready to go. This is where it's in place, ready to go. Not up here, not over here, not uh, here, there. And where this comes into play is less important for the exercise of eight on a hand. Because I can do eight on a hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could lift those. But uh, I need to go to the bathroom. All right, go for it. Oh, where is it? You'll see. It. Look for the one that's got the uh, the bathroom inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> just I just tune these today. They sound nice and fresh. Yeah, so I, if I want it too lower in pitch, if it's too high, then I cut here. If it's too low, then I cut equally from both ends. So if this is moving like this, boom, 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 and my amplitude 
is you know uh, uh, is is in the, on the on the edges and in the center. Uh, well, okay. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm taking material away. If I cut from the center, I I I weaken the integrity of its balance. If I if I cut this down, if I cut this down to like ooh, a quarter of an inch and just zapped all that all away, this would just sound like <laughs> it wouldn't be a tone anymore. It would just sound like a piece of wood being hit. But because this has structural integrity, because it's oh, all the fibers are tight and locked, then it has that rigidity to create a vibration. And by taking material away from the ends, then I'm just making it lighter, and so it it moves faster, the frequency boosts, so then it goes up in pitch. If it's too sharp, if it's too high, cut in the middle, I, I ruin the integrity of the bounce and I slow it down so that it goes lower. If it's too low, I take off the material from the ends. All right, let's do a few of these. Just, just this, we'll, we'll take away the framework of it being inside of it on a hand and all that, just this. And no arm, just, just pull back here and just, just do a finger pull. Now make sure your thumb, yeah, make sure your thumb is on it. Killing me. Now let's have a little contest. See who can have it bounce up the least and have it stop. It, okay, what's happening here? There, it, it is going like this. Boom! It's it is going above, but my hand is locked there, so it appears to stop there. It is bouncing slightly higher, but no one sees that because it's, you know, it's too fast for the eye to see. And the stronger of a hand I have on that, then the less it bounces up. Okay, now put that in the context of a, of a few bounced strokes. Do this. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Where's that thumb? There it is. Okay. See if you can get it to stop, right? Like, super duper close. Can't get it to stop like super duper. Play, do, do, this, do it with the super bouncy ones to make it harder. Left hand. Okay. Now do eight and have it have it stop have it stop it stop it on the last on the eighth one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Now do eight on a hand slowly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> You, you might have fooled someone in the audience with that one. Uh-huh. 
what's got to happen with that other one on that choke stop, uh, on that stop stroke. Gotta go up. Yeah. So keep this down, ready to go. In fact, just just hold it to the, just hold it down for now. Like just instead of hovering above it, just just have it down. Thumb on stick. Yes. <clears throat> okay, now stop that last stroke. Five, six, seven, stop. E oh, okay, almost, almost. You did a press there. You just pushed into it, which is cheating. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do a quick detour from what you're doing right there. Do that. Do what I'm doing. Okay, now. Let's break that down. Watch this. So with a good grip, everything as it should be. <clears throat> Fan these out for now. So we're just looking at the fulcrum. And do this. One, two. Just do two hits. So show me this. Thumb on stick. Thumb. Oh my god. Yes, twice. Now do both of them twice. But not this. Keep those the keep these fingers keep keep these fingers um What hurts? This. What does? What is hurting? What part of your body? I hear. Well, choke back and it won't hurt so much. Hold it at the actual fulcrum and it won't hurt. The reason why, okay, this is, this is, right here is, well, actually back here is where the fulcrum spot is and we can hear that. Listen to this. Let me get some sticks that aren't aren't uh, messed up. Oh, here we go. Um, here it is. Bless you. Okay, listen to these sticks. Okay, I'm muting this one so I don't hear the resonance of this one. Dead. So right about here, this stick, just like these, find that spot. You can hit lower too. Hit below. Now hold it at the end. Now it's totally dead. About there. Yeah, about there. And we're actually going to grab slightly ahead of that. Our, the fulcrum is slightly ahead of that because we don't want it totally at the, at the fulcrum point. Do you, do you know why it's doing that? Okay, check this out. Look at my hands. So that stick vibrates like this. Boom, 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 boom. And where that spot is, is right here, when nothing is going up or down. The ends are going up and down. The center is going up and down, but not this spot over that felt. That's why it sounds like garbage over the felt. That's the fulcrum spot. Because there's felt there. No. If we put felt in the middle, it'd be totally dead. If we put felt to on the ends, totally dead. I put the felt there because that's where the fulcrum spot is of this piece of lumber. 
If I put salt on this, remember the salt trick I showed you? Yeah. It would line up right over that felt. And I did put, I salted all of these. So they're at the optimal spot. It's because nothing's moving up or down here. And so if we hit that, it's just, it's just hard as a rock. If we hit, <clears throat> Oh, went underneath. Here, use that as a tool. Just shove it. There it is. <laughs> I got it. Okay, what was the thing I was gonna have you play? This week, drop four, three, two, one. Yeah. Yes, yes, you do. You know how it goes. One e and a two e and a two e and a four e and. Yes. Forget to practice. You just didn't practice. I didn't practice. And there we go. As long I as practice that other thing that with the. Uh, what did you practice? Oh, on the drum set. Drum set. All right. Let's let's show me what you, show me what you did. Show me what you got. Which one should I use? Whichever one you want. Go for it. Do do. It's right here. I feel like this is different from the Oh, other well, it's, 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 uh, <laughs> broken. It feels like this is swinging enough. Well, your foot's in the wrong spot. Put, oh. your, put your toes in the middle of the pedal. Oh, from that video I said? Yeah, the video. Oh, okay, do it again. Yes. Paco, Paco, tickle, 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 tickle. All right. I'm gonna try that one. Okay, right here. Oh, okay, sing, sing it first. Slightly slower. Let's do 110. Okay, here. Sing it first.
practice that su- practice that sucker with a metronome. Good. I'm glad. I'm uh, good. I'm, I'm glad you are responding to those videos. It's kind of annoying because I feel like I hit my arm. Yeah. Well, it's not properly set up. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I'll just hold it. What's happening in your hand? Your hand is still like turning. Yeah. Turn the wrist. Okay, try this. Try just the second half of that. Do da da do do da da do do. So it's gonna be doom ba ba boom boom ba ba boom boom ba ba boom boom ba ba boom boom. Yeah, you can you can split things up. <laughs> that's that's something to practice right there. That lick definitely sounds better on the toms. Yeah. And then you can go doom, 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 like you can hit your toms. Cowboys are cool. Yeah, we have we have like a whole bunch. And you hold them and you're like, like Oh, yeah. You get two different sounds. Like, Check this out. You can do you can hold it like this and like Try that. Slowly. Right. Hold it further out so you're so you're hitting. And then right there. Just do this. Just to keep it simple. Yeah, you know, the, the you know, cowboy thing. I'll show you a cool, uh, I'll show you a cool, uh, uh, cowbell thing you can do. I like to have my cowbell right here. Where's my pedal? That's just a loud and obnoxious.
Cowbell, downbeat, 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 downbeat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, similar to, I can do that up here. Or, or the right, or the, or the bell of the right symbol. Bing, bing, bing. Do you have a right symbol? I have you have a, a symbol. You have a symbol, yeah. Kinda does. Yeah, you, you, that's right. You just have a crash symbol. Yeah, crash. But uh, upon the uh, the acquisition of a larger, bigger set, then then the symbols shall be at hand as well. At the very least, all you need is a crash, a ride cymbal, and hi-hats, yeah. which you already have, but they sound like trash can lids, uh, which <laughs> is adequate for learning. And it's not like you're going to be going off and doing gigs where the quality of sound matters. But, you know, when I play on instruments that sound really nice, I am inspired to practice so much more. Yeah, if it sounds good, then I want to play them. You know, like what we're doing up here with these bars, like I try to make these bars sound good and I tune them and, you know, I, you know, I, I, I have the nodal points marked out so they, otherwise, we could just be banging on chunks of wood and it doesn't matter because drumming is drumming. But I'm way more inspired to come and play these, which I do sometimes, you know, outside of lessons, I'll just come bing bong around and practice for a little bit, turn on the mat, because I like the way it sounds. So... Probably gonna get a new drum set soon, like in a few weeks. Birthday time. Yeah. J June eleventh. Yeah, four weeks I think. Cool. No, two weeks. Three weeks. About three weeks. Well, when I when I have a thought that getting something or something happening would be cool, what I think is. I just assume that it won't happen so that I, when it does, if it does, then I'm pleasantly surprised as opposed to expecting it. And then if it doesn't happen, then I'm bummed out. So it's always good to have the disposition of it probably won't happen. So if it does, then it's... I don't know when it's going to happen. I think maybe sooner, maybe... I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'm, I'm excited about the prospects of that happening because, because then your inspiration, your motivation to practice, well, I guarantee it will elevate. Because then you have this cool new set, and now you then, because then if your set is decent and cool, then you have the potential to, to like make music. Like the thing you're banging on now, you know, it hardly sounds like what you hear on the radio. And when a when a when a learner recognizes that they're doing something familiar, like oh I've heard that sound on the radio, oh I've heard this that sound on the radio, then it's just like oh wow that's super cool. Like as soon as a ki little kid learns how to play hot cross buns, remember how little lamb, it's like oh my god my own hands, my own fingers did that. Like I thought that's what other people did. So yeah, getting an instrument that sounds good is very inspiring and boosts the motivation. Yeah. I guess now I know how to play three instruments. I can play the recorder, the viol the viola, um, and the drum set. No. Yeah, and which one is the coolest? Uh-huh. Yeah, obviously. It's not even a question. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so book. Grab your book. All right, so okay. Next week, realistically, okay, we have the paradiddle grid. Ooh, I know. You tell me, which one, which one are you more inspired to learn, the paradiddle grid, or drop four three two one? Drop four three two one. Drop four three two one. Get that get that d d d d down. Teach it to a res. Teach it to mom and dad. Teach it to the dog. Teach it to. Do you guys have a pet? Bye.
dog and a cat. Dog and a cat. Teach it to both the dog and a cat at the same time. Actually, and make sure you have their attention equally, simultaneously. I don't know if I'm going to get our cat's attention. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. Get drop four, three, two, one down. And then once you get that down, and then you start applying it to multi surfaces, oh yeah. And also, um, have you guys shown him Karate Kid yet? Yeah, we watched that. You did? Yeah. Upon my recommendation? Oh. Yeah. So you know about Wax On, Wax Off? Yeah. You know about Paint the House? Yeah, and then um, it was the Sand in the Wood or whatever. Sand in the Wood, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now what is that all about? Why did I have you watch that movie? Uh, it's a practice. Well, practice is practice can get your brain to remember. Rem remember. You can remember it without thinking about remembering. Muscle memory. Muscle memory. Yeah. Yes, and and Daniel's son, Daniel's son, he thought he was just painting some old guy's fence. But no, he said no, like. Paint the house. Like, paint the fence this way. Wax on, wax off. And so he didn't realize that, 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 that Mr. Miyagi was teaching him the moves without them being known as the moves. Which I think was, was a little bit unnecessarily frustrating for Daniel's son. I mean, Mr. Miyagi... It, he was, if I was Mr. Miyagi, I would have just said, dude, paint that fence, but here's why. You know, <laughs> make sure you're, you're painting the fence appropriate to, uh, or in alignment with the karate moves. So, oh. prayer diddle grid, drop four, three, two, one, shifting accents, two, three scores, that's all wax on, wax off. This is the karate right here, but this is the wax on, wax off. And then you shall see what happens. In fact, I'll demonstrate right now the paradiddle grid. Watch this. And then we're out of here. Oy vey. Okay, watch. Paradiddle param. Paradiddles. The next paradiddle is this one. Next one is the reverse paradiddle. And the last one is. So the paradiddle grid is, 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 is the Bible for getting your hands to move right, left, and then doubles, right, right, or left, left. And in the drumming world, there are only singles and doubles. Yes, there are threes too. One to the, one to the, one to the, that's, that's, that's advanced. So in drumming 101 world, there are singles and there are doubles, and the paradiddles and the paradiddle grid is the is the is the wax on wax off for applying then applying the, those ninja skills to the drum set. So it's, I'm glad that you have a natural disposition for being patient because that's what it takes. Daniel's son had to be very patient to learn all these skills. And good thing he learned all those skills because then he whooped that guy's butt in the end. Yeah, he, 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 yeah, exactly. Even, even at a deficit, he was able to conjure that, yeah, the, <laughs> practice the, the, you know, wham, that, that massive front kick. Yeah, good, good. I'm glad he knows, I'm glad he knows this trope. This is good. But more importantly, the psychology of wax on, wax off. Ha, ha, ha.
I think that I think the, the the hands were for Hollywood, a bit superfluous. Although if you do if you go down, then you have you know equal and opposite forces, so that might be. That might, I, uh, I'll have to ask my buddy, who's a fourth degree black belt in Kenpo Karate, if he thinks the hands up would be a waste. All right, let's go shoot some hoops. <laughs>